Welcome to Digital Toolbox. Today we're, we're going to go over how to create four different types of splines or curves and see the difference between them. So to get started we're going to create a new document and in Rhino I created a 20 foot line and for those who are following along you guys don't need to do this you just need to understand um, why I did it. So we're going to go to a vector, go to point and grab point XYZ. So we're going to need two so I'm copy and pasting and go to logic, go to sets and grab a series. And what I'm doing right now is just creating a grid or result will result in a grid. And I'm gonna go ahead and grab a number slider. I'm gonna edit the slider from floating points to integers and a value of 20. And then I'm gonna input that into C. So you can see now that this rhino line tells us that it's 20 feet, but um, the grasshopper points are not actually reaching 20 feet. It's actually 19 feet right now. And all we have to do to fix this is add one more value. So x plus 1 in a one variable expression under logic. And this will give us a span of 20 feet. From here, I can grab another slider or copy and paste this one. And change the value to 10 and input that into um, the second set of points. This will give us two set of points. Points, and then go to curve, go to primitive, and grab line. And this will allow us to create a set of lines between these two points. What I want to do next is grab a particular line, any line I want, and then grab a point on that line, any point I want. So to do that, we'll go to logic, go to list, go to list item. select a number slider and I'm going to change it to zero and then from here what we can do is go to we can go to curve go to analysis and evaluate length we're going to connect that to curve select the evaluative length and input that into L so from here um, I'm going to unpreview these lines so you can see that I can select any of these lines and I can select a point along the line but I have to make sure that I'm clicking false on the boolean for n this allows us to um, evaluate the length of the line based on its measurement and not on a unit of 0 to 1 so as soon as we do that we can evaluate the line so from here I'm going to select these four points or four buttons and copy and paste it four times and then I'm going to change the first line to be at zero and the last line to be the very last one and we can pick anything in between same goes for the the value of these curves or on the curve you can pick anything you want the list item values make sure that you're going from left to right from smallest to greatest and top to bottom as shown here um, the way this works is that the way you um, set these points is how a grasshopper will draw the curve it will select the, it will go through the points that you select in the order that you select so to be sure we're going to go to parameters go to geometry and go to point and we're going to select the points into into um, this point button and make sure you're going in the order that you uh, intend to go such as smallest to greatest or whatever order that you want because that's how grasshopper will draw the lines for you and just before we get started I'm gonna change these um, values to be for, um, 40 just to have a, a larger value or the, um, not value but upper limit to be 40 So from here, um, we'll see what the different type of curves are between them, or the difference between splines. And there's four splines that I'm going to go over today. First one's called curve. Second one's called interpolate. Third one's called polyarc. And the last one's called polyline. And we're going to go in the reverse order because going from and we're going to go from easiest to hardest to understand. So the polyline, if we connect it to P line or the points, it simply just connects line uh, connects points based on purely lines, 
connecting the dots or line graphs you've seen before. And I'm going to unpreview these. The next one's called P arc or poly arc. And what this does is that it creates arch arcs between the points. So if I change the values of this, you can see that you can see some of the um, circular arcs um, being formed between these points. And here I'm going to change the value of y um, to 40. So we have a, a bigger grid to work with. And I'm just going to change these points so they move up a little bit. So you can see here if I wrap it around high enough that it will start creating a spiral. So that's what P arc can enable you to do or S curves. So that's the poly arc. And the next one is called the interpolative curve. And this curve just basically does what the polyline does except instead of straight lines it creates curves. And there's nothing special about it other than instead of straight lines it's just curves. The last one I want to go over is called curve and when I connect it the first and last point that we picked will be anchors and you can't really control that except you can't really control these um, endpoints except the how you connect or how you control them in the list item or the evaluative and they they're just the endpoints of the curve the two middle points are bezier handlebars and it allows you to push or in Photoshop or Illustrator so if you push or pull the curve um, you can get different results or different type of curves and for this type of um, curve you need a bigger canvas or a bigger um, grid to work on because you might want to push it very far or very small so to do that just expand your grid to be um, longer and you'll be able to create um, more curves that way so those are the difference between the four curves and if you're wondering how I color coded these curves in my original definition it's very simple you just go to parameters go to special um, go to custom preview and all you have to do is implement the geometry you want to uh, change the color to and then go to special and grab a color swatch connect that to the swatches right click on the color and then you can pick RGB values or HS, HSV values and hopefully, hopefully you guys learn um, difference between splines and curves and um, hopefully you guys enjoy the videos and thank you for watching